What's up everybody, Raul back again with another Ruckus vlog and today we're gonna start assembling the rear part of the frame and then work on whatever else comes along the way. So I'll keep you guys updated. Let's turn around. Let me show you where I'm at right now. Boom, look at that. So everything's painted. I brought up the, I brought out the dress up kit also. So I'll start assembling it with the dress up kit, which is red anodized by Downstar. So that's gonna come out pretty good. I also painted the gas cap cover for now. I'm not gonna anodize that one, it's the key one. So I just figured, let me just uh, paint it. I wanted something just to pop on the frame to contrast everything that's going on here with the dry carbon and the wrinkle. Uh, finished side steps and splitter and stuff so I just wanted that to pop see how that looks once everything is assembled if not then I'll probably pick up this neochrome um, gas cap which is a low profile which will match all the little accents on the scooter itself so yeah that's where I'm at right now the other thing too I gotta do is uh, shave the rear back and then just do a little touch up paint which is uh, not gonna be hard so I could do that with the back reassembled so let's get started and let's see what we're gonna knock out today a whole new adventure let's get to it dang it's already looking sick and all I did was mock that up <laughs> so I used the stock bolts there just to get the frame aligned and I want to show you the dress up kit how it comes from Downstar it's all numbered so they give you a paper and it basically tells you this is for this, this is for this, the main frame bolts, the headlight bolts, the uh, tank cover, all that good stuff. So it's really not, you know, complicated to know where the bolts go. And then they give you one for the horn, which I'm going to use down there for the actual front frame uh, neck cover. So that's going to work out pretty good. But I am really liking this finish here. I mean, you really can't tell because it's kind of dark in here well under the patio but it's got like that semi flat uh, semi like super low gloss not even glossy it's just like a like a like a flat shine but it has like those little ripples in it like the you know the wrinkle finish is what the can says but I think it's more of a like a low rocky texture like sandpaper like really fine grit so it looks really cool it looks it, it's how i wanted it so that's a plus and then it like contrasts it looks really good with the gloss black that's what i wanted i wanted to like separate the front from the rear just to like give it a different look i didn't want it too you know flashy i wanted it more of a sporty performance looking scooter no it's not a street bike or anything no it's not gonna go super fast but it's the look I'm going for so that's what I want and to show you I'll show you on this I don't know if the GoPro will pick it up but you can see like the texture here it looks pretty good look at that so that's pretty cool and then once I put the oil cooler up top I want to get like the RGS uh, black oil cooler with the hoses going through those slots there it's gonna look really sick so I'm excited about that let me finish up here just want to show you where I'm at just started so I haven't even really, really got far but that's the main thing I want to show you there let's get to it process of doing the wire tuck so I found the spot where I'm gonna be routing the wire harness through so right here I'm basically lining up the holes to make sure I don't mess with the integrity of the frame on the inner side and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna once I drill the holes I'm going to go in with the Dremel well with a bigger drill bit 
actually, like this, and then I'm actually gonna round it out with the Dremel, and that'll help me fish the biggest plug of the wire harness through without having to mess with the bracing that's inside of this frame. So let me finish and then I'll show you the ending results. Peace. some frames there's like this little oval egg shape indentation here that's actually a good spot to start at just right above it to start fishing your wires because on the other side you see you can get to it without messing up any of the structure here so it actually ends up right in the middle and then you'll have to shave a little bit maybe like one millimeter of the wall on the inside I don't know if you could see that so there you go so I'll be using the Dremel now just to hit each side of the wall so the reason why I'm actually putting more of this footage in to my vlog series is because if you look around there's really nothing to tell you how to wire tuck or fish the wires through the frame of the ruckus um, without getting professionally done or trying to figure it out yourself so I'm putting this out there just to help a lot of you that want to get a clean look and you're building this on your own this is the route you're going to have to take um, and if you do cut into your frame I'm gonna tell you now I take no responsibility for it you do this at your own risk just like I'm doing it at my own risk I'm just letting you know this is the option you can do and if you choose to do it then just be very careful because you are cutting into the frame so just remember that all right everybody I'm gonna continue um, going one size bigger and then another size and then once I do that like I said I'll be making an oval or kind of a square shape with my Dremel and then I'll be cleaning this up filing it down rounding off the edges and then what I'm gonna do is I'll fish through the harness and right there I'll just go heavy with the electrical tape and then what I'll do is I'll get a, a piece of an old inner tube and I'll wrap it around the harness where it's gonna sit there and then I'll electrical tape that so that way I won't have any cutting into the harness whatsoever so let me finish that up everybody but look at that finish right there let me take you through the front look at that ready for the wires look at that oh clean that is so the wires are going to run through there come down here under the frame the only one I got to do is draw right here for the throttle and the rear brake cable and we're good we are set but just want to give you a little sneak peek while the paint's drying move on to the next step get this bike finished already brake and throttle there you have it so now I'm gonna clean everything up and if I have time I'll move on to the next thing if not then we'll see where we're at what's up everybody I am back and I got a surprise for you let me show you instead of talking about it take a look got the levers on the brakes look at that the brake cable th throttle cable both brakes on for the disc and the rear 
wire tucked already. Look at that. Cables ran. I haven't put the plate yet. Got the tank on with my painted gas cap, anodized screws. Look at that. No more wires. Looking clean. Carb is sitting back here. Got the wire ran already. Oh man, this thing looks so good and it's not even done yet. Now the full dress up kit's not done yet. I still have to put all the other screws, but again, I gotta take this off and then I'm gonna shave the rear frame, battery box screws, all that good stuff. I got the, what is this, triple tray, the, right here, the shock mount section. I got the screws right here, anodized. Yeah, I got a lot done today. Bike's pretty much done. So with that, I'm gonna end it. Stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot more coming to this channel with this ruckus. I got a lot more to do. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, good night, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Nailed it.